Hey guys, it's Monday, and I'm trying a new angle with my camera because I'm into trying new things and stuff. Geeks of the Week! On today's episode of Geeks of the Week, Steph criticizes everything! Yay! So Power wasn't here, but I felt the need to talk about Frozen because I saw, finally saw that movie and I don't think it was as great as everybody has been saying. I think it was a solid Disney film. Um, I liked most of the songs. I thought it was fun. But so many people were like, oh my god, it's one of the best Disney movies ever. Oh my god, the greatest princess movie of all time. Bleah. And I'm not sure what I miss, but that was definitely not the greatest Disney movie of all time. I think there were some weird plot holes in there, and we didn't get any kind of character development from Elsa, and she was kind of supposed to be the main one, I thought, but apparently Anna was instead. It, I don't I don't know, but um, it definitely wasn't in my top 5 or top 10 Disney films, so... Sorry. Mario talked about the new Spider-Man movie and um, I didn't think the trailer looked that great for that either. I'm sorry but it looks like they were just using a bunch of CGI and slow-mo to make the movie seem really cool when it seems like it's gonna have way too much plot to possibly fill in like a two-hour movie and they're just gonna probably dumb down half the characters anyway. I think they're gonna rush a lot of the character development and it's gonna be really awkward because I think that's what they did with the first movie with Peter Parker just revealing his identity to everybody, which is weird. I think they're adding in way too many villains and Harry Osborn's hair is awful. Straight up awful. I'll probably still see it, not gonna lie, but uh, I don't have high expectations for that movie. And Nikki, I hope you had a really great birthday on Saturday and I'm really glad you enjoyed The Hobbit, but I didn't as much. Shocker, I know. So I had this problem with the first Hobbit and I thought it was way too long. They should not be making one book that's like 300 pages into three movies. That's just a terrible idea. Yes, it brings them lots more money because there's three movies instead of one, but ultimately you're making three shitty movies instead of one probably good movie. I am aware they're taking other aspects of the Lord of the Rings Hobbit world, like the appendixes and all the other stuff, but uh, those don't carry the substance of a book. It's like tie-in things. Like There's just too many things that they can't keep your attention properly because they're trying to shove way too many things and it doesn't make any sense at any point. So instead of just focusing on like three main plot points, they have to try to shove every little possible thing in there to fill a two and a half to three hour movie and that's dumb because I was literally yawning near the end. But Steph, what about the graphics? They were amazing! No. I saw the first movie in the 3D high frame rate version and I thought the CGI was terrible and really really fake looking and it was very very distracting for the movie. So this time I went and saw it in regular 2D and it didn't torment my eyes. However, the movie looked just as fake with half of the CGI. Like, it was just so weird. Like the part where Legolas is running after the dude on horseback near the end of the film and they're like on a bridge over water and he looked totally fake on the horse and they probably filmed that for real and everything else just looked really weird around him and like the part where they're in the water and you see the water splashing was just awful straight up awful all my opinions are probably the unpopular opinion but that's totally okay because everybody has opinions and that's totally fine on a positive note though Next week is Christmas, and that's fabulous. So that's pretty much all I had to talk to you about today. And by talk to you, I mean tell you how awful everything is in movies right now. So, I'm sorry. But on a positive note, cosplaying is Levi on Saturday, so that should be fun. So stay tuned for pictures of that. Stay tuned for pictures of me without eyebrows. That'll be great. And, you know, like, subscribe, do all that cool stuff with the channel, check us out on Facebook, check everybody else on Facebook and Twitter and cool stuff, and you know what? Merry freaking Christmas. You deserve it. Have some gingerbread cookies, and I will see you guys next Monday. Bye!